I am glad to present the painting Mary Magdalene by Balthasar Denner, created around 1720. Balthasar Denner, known for his veristic and detailed portraits, set himself the artistic challenge of creating an ideal female portrait. The difficulty lies in shaping the physiognomy towards an expressive individuality without bringing out a multitude of individual phenomena that would obscure the ideal aspect of the face. Accordingly, Denner has formulated the special features of the face, such as the chin, the eye sockets or the nostrils, only to the extent that the ideality of Mary Magdalene, inwardly purified by her penance, which is carried in particular by the incarnate parts, does not appear clouded. The impression of immaculate purity is reinforced by the technique of painting on copper, which gives the colors, especially those of the incarnate parts, the preciousness of a translucent porcelain-like melt. A transfiguration of colors that culminates here, in terms of the content of the depiction, in the radiance of Mary Magdalene's eyes. Her emotion, revealed not only by her gaze but also by her slightly open mouth, is not expressed in ecstatic movements but her almost statuesque posture is transformed into an inner movement. The slanting arms, which seem to float freely, correspond to the head, which is tilted in the opposite direction, thus setting the figure in an ascending movement beyond the area marked by the frame on this side. Mary Magdalene's internal movement is intensified by the brownish drapery that serves as a background for her face, which seems to embrace her from behind and corresponds to the curl of her dark hair. The way to the transfiguration is also illustrated on the level of color. The sitter's lightful, pale blue garment has a red lining, the Marian colors, to illustrate Mary Magdalene as Mary's successor. At the same time, the delicate colors of her garment, including the brownish yellow of the background drapery, contrast with the deep red of the cloth on which the skull lies, which, together with the skull, evokes passion and transience. It is here that the true meaning of Mary Magdalene's ideal face is revealed. By turning to God, the former sinner overcomes the skull, which sinks into the shadows, and attains a new life that already fills her in this world. The famous art historian Alfred Lichtwork said that some of Denner's portraits have an almost dreamlike quality. Thank you very much for your attention. I was pleased to present you the work of art.